Bonjour, <laughs> Natasha Nindijanikas. Natasha is my name. And uh, yeah, what's good? What's good? Joan says, I feel bad for Americans. You can choose Biden or Trump. Yeah, that's some choice, huh? <laughs> Would you like a little column A or a little from column B? I remember the last time I didn't want to vote at all. Did we vote last time? Yep. Yeah, I didn't want to vote at all. It was going to be the first time. Like, I'm out. This is stupid. <laughs> but I voted anyway. But uh, I remember thinking I was getting really crabby. And it occurred to me that maybe the best way you can deal with this kind of stuff is to try to... I didn't like either of them. But I tried to find something I liked about them. You know, in the Bible, you know, my book of record, they'd say, you should love your enemies. So you try to find something good you can say about them. So the best thing I could say about Joe Biden was that I liked how he looked in his suits. He is, uh, he looks like an elderly male model when he's all dressed up, not when he's at the beach. <laughs> yeah, when he's struggling to get out of his t-shirt at the beach. <laughs> yeah, no, he looks terrible then. But when he's wearing a blue suit, like when he was running last time, it, they're almost, they're like thin cut. They're almost skinny jeans. But he's got the most beautiful tailored suits. He does indeed look kind of cool in aviator glasses. Um, Whatever magic they did at the uh, hair plug place. I mean, he's bald and not bald at the same time. He's a very distinguished looking 80 year old. And I really appreciate that about him. Jill has beautiful hair. You know, when you start thinking about things you like about him. Donald Trump. The thing I like most about Donald Trump is how he dances. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. He dances, dances like my grandmother used to dance. Just horrible. It looks like he's, um, you know, when he dances, he's got like an invisible, it's like he's wearing an invisible zip-up hooded sweatshirt with long strings and he's pulling the strings back and forth. <laughs> yeah. Or a scarf or something. He looks like an old lady with zero rhythm. But he gets up there. When he came to Bemidji, I didn't go see him, but I saw it on the news. He gets up on stage to none other than YMCA by the village people. The gayest song on record. YMCA is fun to stay at. The, and the most danceable song ever. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. And he's up there dancing. <laughs> You're just going to go, oh, I just want to hug him. You know, I do not have Trump derangement syndrome. When that old man dances, it's just, it's, it's endearing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you can always find something you like about people you don't like. Like, like test me. Who's somebody you think I hate? Now I'm going to find something nice to say about him. Uh, Hitler. I don't hate Hitler. Hitler. You don't? But but he was responsible for the death of 10 million, 6 million Jews. Allegedly. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. Yeah, you are. I don't know. I, you know what it is? What? There are certain things that you know you can't make jokes about. And those are the only things I want to make jokes about. <laughs> you know? It's like, hey, it's not funny. It's too soon. Don't make Shanae O'Connor jokes, you know? <laughs> the wound is too raw. And there are some things that you just can't joke about. Um... So is that, oh yeah, test me with somebody you think I hate. I'm going to think of something I can, good I can say about him. All right, Madonna. <laughs> Whoa, that, you came out of the gates with a big one. Madonna. 
All right. And I can't use something like, well, in 1987, she did this thing that wasn't reprehensible. <laughs> um, something I can say nice about Madonna. Something redeemable about Madonna. I can't think of it. She divorced Sean Penn. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm not sure who's worse, Madonna or Sean Penn. But uh, you got to give her credit. She didn't stay with icky old wrinkled up. He looks like a snuffed out cigarette. <laughs> Sean Penn. Any chance he has to like tell us the rest of us what to think about something, he's on there. Hey. You know, hey. This is my impression of Sean Penn. <clears throat> I'm not good at doing impress impersonation, so you'll have to bear with me. Yeah, listen. You know, it's very serious what's going on in the Ukraine. I came over here to see what I could do. And I'm here with my friend, President Zelensky. I gave him my, my Academy Award to, to show him how much I support the war in Ukraine. And you should too. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> right? Listen, you guys. I'm Sean Penn. And you better get vaccinated. It's a national health crisis. It's a pandemic. And I'm Sean Penn. You can trust my judgment. I married Madonna. And the only movie anybody really remembers me for is Spicoli and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> no, he's done a lot of movies. But in hindsight, like I remember thinking Sean Penn was this great actor. But you watch his movies from the 80s and they're horrible. They're so campy and stupid. Dead Man Walking is like an after school special. It's just stupid. And the acting's terrible. It's exploitive. It's typical Hollywood just nonsense. But what are we gonna do? Nothing. What can we do? Nada. Gawin Gego. Nothing. <laughs> no, I don't know. Don't go away. I'm begging you to stay. Cause I'm gonna miss your love. <laughs> Please don't go. Oh, really? Why? Because I'm gonna miss your love. <laughs> The minute you, you walk, walk out, out that, that door. door. But I gotta go to work, honey. No, <laughs> I'm gonna miss your love the minute you walk out that door. <laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, hey. Won't you consider becoming a patron? Patron? No, that's not right. right? Um, patron. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> Please become a patron saint. And support Buju Nana Buju, the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture. Click the links in the description to our Patreon page. And if you become a $25 a month Buju Crew member, it's an exclusive club. <laughs> it's going to cost you some junia, some no. money. <laughs> no. Uh, you'll get a a cup, a coffee cup. Oh, you can oh. put your black medicine water in there. Makade bash kiki wabu. Makade bash kiki. See, you're already learning it, Jibway. <laughs> Buju crew members get $25 a month and we'll send you a Makade bash kiki wabu cup. <laughs> a coffee cup with our pictures on it. And, uh, or just check out our Patreon page. 
You don't have to sign up. You can see some of these Lydia, some of these videos. This one's backstage of the show. Here's Michael and Nana Bushu. My mouth wide open. This one's called How's the Historical Trauma Today? <laughs> okay, let's just <laughs> check this out. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta get my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, good morning. Mino Giga Jabe. Today is Ojibwe phrase of the day. Mino Giga Jabe. Let's see. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> A rock star cartoonist. Well, I think you get the picture. Um, yeah. Come on over to our Patreon page. I don't know what else to say. Miigwechka, Biz and Thank you for listening. And I will see you again. Giga wabba min. Minowa.